Neville Goddard articulated, the world is yourself pushed out. Ask yourself what you want, and then give it to yourself. Don't question how it will happen, just follow your path, knowing that the evidence of what you have done must appear, and it will. This encapsulates the essence of the law of assumption, and today, guided by the master of metaphysics, Neville Goddard, you will grasp how to wield it. The law of attraction elucidates and establishes that every facet of your life has been drawn to you in some manner. Neville Goddard refined the law of assumption as the decree of internal manifestation. While it may seem akin to the law of attraction, this video, thanks to Neville Goddard's wisdom, will elucidate the distinctions between the two laws, enabling you to harness the power of the law of assumption. The law of attraction asserts that you magnetize what lies external to you, essentially drawing into your life elements that resonate with your being. Conversely, the law of assumption transmutes what resides within you into tangible reality. Neville Goddard posits that all creation is already actualized, and all the blessings you seek and yearn for in your life already exist. There is no need to generate anything, it already abounds. The crux lies in the term manifest, signifying the act of decreeing, recognizing, and asserting its ownership. Every aspiration you harbor exists within the expanse of infinite potentiality, akin to a supermarket teeming with choices. Just as you fill your cart with sundry items in a supermarket, the field of infinite potentiality allows you to decree and select what you genuinely wish to materialize. Similar to a supermarket, the field already stocks the very product you desire. You simply proceed to fill your cart with your aspirations. It's as straightforward as that. This is your decree within the field of infinite potentiality. You don't fabricate anything. You merely claim what you desire, irrespective of its nature, be it health, wealth, abundance, or success. The field encompasses every conceivable figment of your imagination. Manifestation is an inherent capacity intrinsic to every human being by virtue of their humanity. The world you apprehend is not an external entity or an entity apart from you, but a reflection of your essence. The law of attraction can be viewed as the bedrock upon which the law of assumption is constructed. The latter represents the next stage in consciously and intentionally realizing your aspirations and dreams. The law of attraction reverberates throughout the cosmos as universal resonance, while the law of assumption emanates from within you. You are the agent of manifestation. Neville Goddard expounded that comprehending this principle marks a pivotal stride toward manifesting your desires. It positions you in a vantage point, empowering you to consciously manifest what you seek. The law of attraction advises you to remain aligned with your desire, consistently holding it in your thoughts, which is accurate and effective. The subtle differentiation, the nuance of the law of assumption, which, I reiterate, is underpinned by the law of attraction but takes it a step further, is that you must embody your desire. That desire is already a facet of your tangible reality. It must mirror your essence. Your mind must conceive it as a fait accompli for it to come to fruition. This is where emotions come into play. They are pivotal for the law of assumption to take effect. You must adopt the mindset that you've already acquired and are relishing what you desire. The only way to achieve this is by truly feeling it. There are countless methods to do this. For instance, you can immerse yourself in the sensations of experiencing your desire by shutting your eyes and focusing on the sensory details. Let's say your wish is to embark on a vacation to a luxurious resort on a pristine island. 
Close your eyes, unwind, and fixate on the sensations evoked by purchasing the plane ticket to that enchanting island and checking into the resort. Feel the pleasant warmth on your skin and the delightful sensation of stepping into the reception area. Envision the moment they hand you the room key and envisage the extraordinary amenities it offers. Picture yourself savoring the extraordinary and delectable dishes served in the resort's restaurant. It's imperative to carry out all of this with a sense of immediate awareness. Picturing it as a future event won't serve the purpose. You must feel it here and now, as though it's already unfolding. Close your eyes and envision a succulent lemon halved. Gradually bring it closer to your mouth and perceive the zesty, juicy aroma reaching your olfactory senses. Now, take a luscious bite. I'm willing to bet that if you followed my instructions, you had a reaction. This occurs because the mind can't discern between the imagined and the real when you incorporate the appropriate sensation and feeling. Yet another approach to embodying what you desire is to engage with it firsthand. Suppose you covet the latest model of a cell phone, but its current price is beyond your means. Nonetheless, you hold a genuine fondness for that phone, and having it would bring you great joy. Visit a store where it's on display, request to see it, and hold it in your hands. Feel its texture, manipulate its features, scrutinize it, spend time with the phone in your hands. Take note of its weight and how it feels in your grasp. Through this, you're experiencing the reality in the present moment, activating your manifesting prowess through the law of assumption. However, bear in mind that it will only set this law into motion if you genuinely feel elation and contentment in holding it. If, for any reason, it falls short of your expectations and doesn't bring you the satisfaction you anticipated, you won't be nurturing the right sentiment or thought to set the law of assumption into action. Consequently, your initial desire won't come to fruition. The same principle applies if you aspire to acquire a new car. Head to the dealership, request to examine the exact car you desire. If your aim is to secure a new job in a specific location, Go to that place and immerse yourself in the experience of being there. Endeavor to engage with the environment, even if you can't access the building or locale where the job is situated. I want you to be cognizant that the sensation and the present moment are pivotal in actualizing what you want to materialize in your life. The assumptions you've held over time, deeming them as true and accurate, have shaped your life. That's what you manifested because, in some manner, you felt it to be so. What you take as a given is what ultimately transpires. You can't presume something for the future. Sensation only occurs in the present. Therefore, when you assume something in your life, it is transpiring right now. Your level of awareness has led you to where you are. Today marks the moment to instigate a shift with the law of assumption. Manifest everything you aspire to with unwavering confidence and devoid of fear. You've likely heard the call for realism countless times. I'm certain that if you were to elucidate this concept to certain individuals who've inundated your life with limiting messages, they'd advocate for realism, asserting that these laws hold no sway. Allow me to expound upon the true essence of realism. Being realistic stands as the adversary of dreams. Those who profess realism often lack grand aspirations. They are content with life as it unfolds. The true trailblazers and manifestors are those who relinquished realism to embrace the mantle of dreamers. Dreams reside in the realm of imagination and sensation. When you possess a dream, you inhabit it, sense it, 
and envision it. It is uniquely yours. Conscious dreams set in motion the law of assumption. I implore you, never relinquish your dreams or the exhilaration they stir for what you seek to achieve. For Neville Goddard, reality was a construct of his making. Despite the vast multitude of followers, there existed a substantial contingent who harbored doubts about his teachings. This might have sown seeds of uncertainty and shaken the confidence of many. Do you believe this gave him pause? I assure you, it did not. On the contrary, it fortified his resolve to substantiate through his teachings and deeds that he was in the right. He expended not a scintilla of his energy on these dissenters, his focus always centered on his personal reality. Time and again, he demonstrated that he was the architect and realizer of his thoughts. Place your faith in yourself and your dreams. If you hold steadfast to them and channel all your energy towards their realization, everything you yearn for and covet will inevitably come to pass. Diverge from the ranks of conformists, you are cut from a different cloth. I vouch that if you commit yourself and adhere to Neville Goddard's tenets regarding the law of assumption assiduously, you will be indomitable, achieving whatever you set your sights on, no matter how insurmountable it may appear. I want you to acknowledge and be unequivocally certain about one thing, merely by perceiving and being open to learning about the various laws and methods to attract abundance, such as watching videos like this. You are already channeling the right energy for things to materialize. This is because what you fixate on and invest your energy in is what burgeons. Congratulations on that. Now, disseminate this wisdom to the people you hold dear and wish to afford the opportunity to learn how to cultivate abundance, just as you have. You will be a positive force in augmenting the abundance of others. I encourage you to proceed to the next video to continue your education on how to manifest the life you yearn for, but not before bestowing a like, sharing your thoughts and a comment about your journey, and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos elucidating how to foster greater abundance. I extend my sincerest wishes for the best in your life, and I look forward to meeting you in the next video.